It's April the 8th, 2013. We're in Tulare County and we're looking at one of our treatment blocks. These are Fiesta grapes grown for raisin production. And what I wanted to share with you is what it's looking like for this year is uh, setting up to be a, a heavy crop. Uh, there's a lot of small bunches starting to show up. And very soon these are going to need to be sprayed uh, to elongate those to really, really allow room for those berries to grow and not burst. And so a rachis stretch spray is really a good idea. That's also a great time to put on some foliar nutrition. At this stage of the game, it doesn't take a lot to be effective, but some soluble phosphate is really a benefit because it gives energy for the upcoming bloom in order to help set more crop. It also provides energy for that bunch uh, stretch that you really want to have happen this time of year on a heavy crop year. And in so doing, what you're doing there is, is front loading uh, for the energy demands that are going to be out there for growing this big crop all season long. Uh, there's some nice bunches already developing here. Uh, and so I want to share that with you. Our soil temperatures also are warm enough where we can start putting ground application on with uh, some soluble calcium, possibly some phosphate, depending on what your soil test needs are. Uh, this field here will be getting some calcium soon uh, in the form of thioplex as well as uh, some soil treatment. Uh, those two formulations from UltraGrow in order to maximize this window of root growth and development to help feed the uh, developing crop through the roots. We've got a long growing season and uh, taking advantage of that by stimulating the soil and that root zone really is beneficial uh, to growing a nice high quality crop with good tonnage. So anyway I wanted to share that with you and have you take a look for yourself in your own fields as you're growing your grapes. Uh, take a look here at least in the central San Joaquin Valley we're setting up for heavy crops so keep that in mind and talk to your CCA or PCA for making proper appropriate nutrient plans for uh, this upcoming crop.